Let's talk about apparent size. Apparent size, also known as angular size, is an angle measure describing the size of an object from one's point of view. Here, we see a hiker observing a mountain in the distance. From the hiker's point of view, the apparent size of the mountain is nine degrees. Unlike other units of size, like meters, feet, kilometers, or miles, apparent size is not measuring the actual height of the mountain. It's not actually a measure of how tall that mountain is. Apparent size is an angle measure, and that angle changes depending on the observer's distance from the object. For example, if the hiker were closer to the mountain, the apparent size of the mountain would be larger. Here we see the hiker much closer to the mountain, and from his point of view, the apparent size of the mountain has increased to now 30 degrees. In this video, I will talk about how to approximate the actual size of distant objects when the apparent size is known. When the apparent size of a distant object is known, you can approximate the actual size of that object if you also know the distance from the observer to that object. This diagram of a hiker and a mountain can be represented as a sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is a fraction of a circle that's defined by what is known as a central angle. In this situation, the central angle would be nine degrees. And this sector represents the fraction of the entire circle, nine over 360. The entire way around the circle would be 360 degrees, but in our sector, the central angle is only nine degrees. This sector is nine over 360th of the entire circle. In, our, in the sector, the mountain would be represented by the arc length of the sector. Arc length is a distance that is a fraction of the entire circumference of the circle. You may recall that the circumference of the entire circle is 2 times pi times r. And since our sector is 9 over 360 of the entire circle, the arc length, this blue curved arc length, which is often abbreviated s, is that same fraction of the circumference. This arc length would be 9 over 360, that same fraction that our sector represents, times 2 times pi times r. In the sector of a circle, r is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. And in our diagram with the hiker in the mountain, r would be the distance from the observer to the mountain. In general, when it comes to a sector of a circle, whatever the central angle is, it's often abbreviated with a theta, the arc length is theta over 360, where theta is the central angle, times 2 times pi times r. If we know the distance from the hiker to the mountain, we can approximate the height of the mountain using this arc length formula. Let's do that now. To review the situation we have been talking about, we have a hiker. And from the hiker's point of view, the apparent size, also known as the angular size, of a distant mountain is 9 degrees. Knowing the apparent size alone is not enough information to determine the actual height of the mountain. However, if the hiker knows that he is exactly 5,000 meters from the base of the mountain, that gives you enough information to determine approximately how tall the mountain is. As we just discussed, the formula for the arc length of a sector of a circle, which can be represented by this diagram, is theta over 360 times 2 times pi times r. In our diagram, the central angle is theta, and r is the distance from the hiker to the mountain, which we now know to be 5,000 meters. Substituting these values into the arc length formula, gives us s equals s is the abbreviation for arc length is our central angle nine degrees over 360 times two times pi times five thousand 
the hiker's distance from the mountain. All that remains now is some simple arithmetic, especially if you have a calculator to help you. 9 over 360 times 2 times 5,000 is 250. So the height of the mountain in terms of pi is 250 pi meters. Finally, let's round off our estimate to the nearest meter. 250 times pi is about 785 meters. In conclusion, if you know that the apparent size of a distant object and you know the distance from the observer to the object, you can represent the situation as a sector of a circle and approximate the actual size of the object using the arc length formula. In our situation, if a hiker sees a distant mountain whose apparent size is 9 degrees and the hiker is known to be 5,000 meters from the mountain, we can say that that mountain is approximately 785 meters tall.